Hello dear friends, Robin Greenfield here and I'm at Wild Abundance in the Appalachian Mountains of Western North Carolina and this is the tiny house or the shelter that I've been staying in for the summer and I want to give you a tour so come on inside with me. As you can see this is open to the elements. I have raccoons in here and mice coming in and I think I've even had a bear come inside while I was gone. So I hesitate to call it a tiny house. It's more of a shelter because of the open elements. But I love waking up here and just looking out and seeing all my plant relatives. And I love also going to bed and seeing the sun setting into the trees. I do have to watch out for my food though so it doesn't get eaten by the critters. I have food hanging up here in these baskets. I store my big items in buckets. Here is last fall's hickory nuts, for example, which I make hickory nut milk with. And then all this food is stored in jars so the animals cannot get at my bounty. I live simply and sustainably here. My water is a very simple water harvesting system for rainwater. It's just the water dripping off the edge and collecting into my, into my pots and my pans. And because it rains real hard here, this bucket fills fast. I want to show you that uh, sustainable living doesn't have to be high tech, doesn't have to be expensive. And even if things are supposedly illegal in some places, for me, it's all about following earth code rather than city code. And I'm gonna harvest rainwater wherever I am. Here, I drink the rainwater, which is... Mm exquisite as well as I fill up my bottles at the spring which is about a five minute walk away. Between the rainwater and the spring water I have my basic needs met in a way that I really am able to connect deeply with the earth and be a part of it by drinking as Natalie Bogwalker called it wild water. I cook my meals over this little wood stove. I harvest this wood that's down from the little forest right behind me. You can see that piled up down here, as well as some scraps from the carpentry classes here. If I believe there was a such thing as a sin, for me, it would be pooping in a flush toilet and making my poop someone else's problem. What I do here is I use a compost toilet, and this is a closed loop compost toilet system because I don't go to the store for my toilet paper, I actually grow my own. This is Plecranthus barbatus or the blue spur flower and this here is mullen and the leaves are minty fresh and soft as can be and after I go number two I use these leaves which are nature's charmin of the garden and they return to the earth and this compost can actually be used to grow food. As I said, I live off the grid here, which means I am not connected to electricity. The little bit of electricity that I do use, I power up down at the Wild Abundance campus. I have a headlamp, which is the only light that I have here. I'd love to have some beeswax candles, but I don't right now. And that means that I'm mostly living in the rhythm of the earth and going to bed earlier rather than being up late on the electronics. So what is Wild Abundance? I was first introduced to Wild Abundance about five years ago and first visited a few years ago. I lived here two summers ago and this summer here in this little structure. If you're excited about the idea of building something like this where you are or a much more advanced tiny house, you can do that through their tiny house classes, which are both in person right here and online. They have basic carpentry, women's carpentry, and women's rewilding. So the opportunities are really here to have incredible knowledge, access to excellent teachers and instructors, whether you come here to Western North Carolina in person or online. So I'm elated to have been able to share this with you, and I highly recommend checking out Wild Abundance.